for just ten dollars more instead of going for the fifty dollar package. It would just be ten dollars more. So I'm thinking about doing that and allowing people to use my speaker account. Like I would trust you because that would leave uh, five hour podcasts and 50, I think it's fifteen hundred hours of storage. Gives you five hours. Uh huh. You know, I used to be on the iHeart thing. I had three shows, and I did not cancel my Spreaker account. Someone else did. So this may be because of that. I don't know why. Maybe other people got that same offer to go up to Anchorman. I, I don't know. But I have thought about leaving Spreaker, uh, partially because it's hard for me to take a phone call on here. So... Feature. Right, because when I, I, I can't seem to get the Skype to switch on, I had that VVC cable thing on there. Yeah. But, um, just just some per- technical problems. Oh, I see. Well, apparently there's a fight going on in your chat room. There's a fight? Ronald Tolvatar, T-O-L-V-T-A-R, Tolvatar. So far, sounds like some alien name or avatar name. He's wanting to fight stabbing the kegs. Poor Mr. Eggs is in the corner shaking a bit, trying to, to use his medication. Yes, please. Poor Somebody stabbing. Stab with his meds, please. Aww. There's someone with a diaper on. Who the hell is this? Oh, well. An apocalypse? No. What is apocalypse asking for? Um, he's saying to talk to the dumpster about technical issues. Hell no. Talk to the dumpster? Yeah, yeah, the dumpster. So, uh... Who else do you think would be good? By the way, I, I expected her to be on for her options. Well, I saw a picture of her with blood in her hair. I don't know if that was ketchup. Probably was. I did see quite a few white hairs. That made me smile. And um, what? she did a show, and apparently, I guess somehow she hurt her head on the car hood. I don't know what she was doing. She was trying to make some extra money. Yeah, lean over the hood and, you know. <laughs> well, that's one of the things I thought of. I mean, how could you hurt yourself on a car hood? I mean, honestly. So, but there was blood in the hair. So. Well, with that big ass head that she has. <laughs> Off with her head. Uh, trying to get out of that big rig. She wears that on the top of it, yes. Mm-hmm. Gotta get out of big, big race. But who else? That thing's so hard. We all know that nigga's truck driving. Mm-hmm. That's true. It's funny. You know, I have listened to a few of the shows of late, especially when she was talking about her daughter. I don't get it. You know, why would she call her daughter a bitch? You know, I don't get that. You know, I'm just... That is, that, that was... Well, I was actually surprised that she came on the air mm-hmm. and admitted to all of that going on. It doesn't surprise me that there's an altercation once again between her and Heather. This has happened quite a few times from my understanding. But she's a narcissist and I can imagine Heather gets tired of her shit and they... Well, well, apparently, I mean, look at this. You know, she comes to her dad with evidence. She copies the chat logs. Yeah, that was, that, yeah that's, that's pretty, uh, that's, I don't know, that's a little... Well, it's a page out of her mom's book. I mean, look at it, you know. But I'm thinking maybe every time she comes to her dad, she copies the chat logs. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe everything's not so kosher. You know, apparently yeah. Stephen is God because he doesn't complain. But then... Her daughter is a bitch because she gets her in trouble with Spicter. Did that make sense? Oh, it makes like, Dumpster gets in trouble with Spicter because of the chat logs. Because she said, well, they just attacked me. I mean, I could almost hear it. 
I just go in the room, and that bathtub girl, bitch, she just attacks me. I'm like, really? And just, wow. Oh, I can't believe Heather is, uh, but Heather's smart, yes. She's mm-hmm. picking form of everything that crazy bitch said the plans to do. And, uh, I think, I think Heather's trying to protect the family, which is just good. Somewhat needs to. Uh, she may be Heather thinking of her kid. Do you think she's thinking of her kid? Because, you know, what you put out on the internet, it never goes away. <laughs> I, I certainly know that. Yes, it never, never goes away. Uh, I don't know. Where's Desert? I thought she would call in. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, well, text her. Tell her to call in. I want to hear an update from the real queen of Spreaker. What's packed? Well, it's easier to check. It's packed. It is? <laughs> wow. Yeah, you have a lot of people in your chat. I think this would be fun to do like we used to, you know, the, the five-hour things. And then we can use my um, my account if I go up to Anchorman and just let different people that don't have a professional account. Like even Stabby, if he wanted to do one. I would trust him. I would. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Central. Why are all you people in the bed? Yes. It's the weekend. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, my God. Now, uh, Nature Boy. Is this Nature Boy or is this Mr. Morris? Um, I guess it's Todd. Okay, Mr. Morris. Have you seen the movie known as The Danish Girl? I have. The man that's portraying Lily really looks like Steve Ogle. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I, I, I started thinking about Steve earlier. I was watching the movie. I was being very moved. I, it's a serious movie. It's a, a, a movie about humanity. You know, uh, being nervous and changing and perceptions and You know, this guy was an artist, and Steve's a photographer. I mean, I see a lot of correlations. Don't you? I do. I'm cross-dressing, really. I mean, that's a a little out there for anybody. Steve Otto cross-dressing, really. No, come on, think about it. You know, maybe he wants someone to wear a certain thing, so maybe he models it for them. And then he gets to, to liking how it feels. Well, come on. I mean, he, he's a pussy. Oh, no. He is a pussy. But, you know, of all the people that are on the dumpster show, I would say that's the one that's most likely transgender. You know, because even if he hears this, he's probably going to wig out. And, and there's no reason to wig out. I don't mean this as a slam at all. You know, that's not my oh, nature. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But like oh, I, so what were you talking about on your, on your show earlier with, with her? Something with your daughter? What is she... Uh, Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, now I know what you're talking about. I was like, what did I say? Um, I've gotten some messages. I can't say from whom. And there are screenshots of a phone. And there are messages from the dumpster to the person talking to me. And she's going on and on about how my daughter, who's a senior in high school, lives in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Not... I'm in Tulsa, that my daughter has had a sex change. She really believes this. And then, what was the last one? That my daughter's changed her name to a variation of her name. And I think if you're a a woman and if you wanted to be a man, you wouldn't have a name similar to your name. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. You go to a completely different name. 
And they call that dead naming somebody when you use their birth name. I have worked on a documentary on and off in Tulsa, and it involves transgender people. I mean, it's, I've learned a lot over the last three years. So much. So much. But that movie, oh my gosh. Can you believe they castrated him? And can you imagine Steve getting castrated? Oh, wait, it's already happened. It's already happened. A chemical castration by the dumpster. He got too close to the toxic juice. You know, the dumpster juice that she likes to sell. Oh, i got to plug in this charger. Oh, I think I can do this and not... Yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I think I could do... We'll have to do a Skype conversation with the parties interested. So if anybody wants to be a part of this, I, I don't know what we would call it. What type of network would we call it when we're streaming everywhere? Stream Nation? Oh, that would be cool. I should be quiet about that name. Stream Nation? What the hell? Like streaming to the nation. Stream Nation. Streaming to the nation? Well, yeah, on all these different platforms. If we could do BTR, Spreaker, Mixler, Google Hangouts, and Talk to you, that's five. Yeah. You know, it only takes a few people that people follow a lot on Twitter, some impressions, and boom, Stream Nation is a happening thing. You know, like Stabby's, I think he's pretty good on music. You know, Apocalypse is just a hypocrite, but it's nice to listen to a hypocrite. No offense, Apocalypse, I love you, Hugs. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where does the hostility towards Apocalypse come from? Well, no, I just think he is a hypocrite. I, I like hypocrites. I do. You know, he says one thing and then does another. But he's really improved this last year. So maybe he's not the hypocrite that I thought he was. I need to re-examine that. I think Apocalypse is very blunt. But he's cautious. He's very charming. He's always coming in with the hugs. You, you know how the psychopaths are. They're very charming. I'm kidding. <laughs> because too often, people, at least on this platform and others, they act like they're some psychoanalyst. And they'll say, oh, well, this person's bipolar. they got to be bipolar when they don't really know that much about it. They don't have a clue. Oh, what the hell is up with, with, with Shillbilly? Did he change the Did he? he was smoking or what's <gasps> going on with Oh my gosh, who's Emoji Man? Who is Emoji Man? Leave Apocalypse alone and stabbing the cubs. You know, if I want to say something about Apocalypse, that's one thing. And I don't say it out of meanness. So. Who is this Emoji Man? Go ahead, Go ahead, enlighten us, please. Who is Emoji Man? He says this, stabbing the cubs, you fuckface. Stabby McCuggs, I have a baseball bat for you. And ball, Stabby McCuggs. I guess he's implying that Stabby doesn't have balls. He does. He can stand up for himself and does it quite well. Wow, they've been fighting in my chat room. They're all attacking Stabby. He's telling... Uh, Why is everyone fighting Stabby? Poor baby. What are doing? He's causing chaos everywhere. Barco is, is at him, too. Oh, God, Barco, no. No. Oh, wow, Barco. Maybe you can enlighten me on this. Barco says this. Little Rick fucked off to quality dairy to get some salve for his butt hurt. Little Rick is butt hurt? Did, did someone do something to him? Barco is a troll. Well, that's what good. I have to say. No comment. Me on He's a oh, it looks like Apoc sock is the dumpster. What? Apoc is a sock? Yeah, it says Apoc sock. Saying that I want to be the dumpster. She wants to be Debbie. If I please, no. Oh, wow. I want to be Apoc. I, I don't know. Well, let's get back to the lab, but what else do you know is going on with Spreaker drama? Can you enlighten us, Mr. Morris? 
Mr. President.